A new study published by the British scientific journal Nature suggests all calories are not created equal. Researchers found on how researchers focused on how gut microbes react differently to high fiber whole foods compared to so-called Western diets, which are typically comprised of highly processed food. So joining us here in Studio 57 is nutritionist Carrie Glassman. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see in you. In studio. Um, all right. So like Anne-Marie, when I first saw the headline, my first thought was, yeah, not all calories are created equal. We know that. Yeah. But there's something unique about this study. Why is it so important uh, to eat foods that are high in fiber? What are those calories around fiber? Okay. And why they're important. Well, so let's just do a quick little background on your gut microbiome yeah. because that really plays an important role here. Okay, so when we eat fiber, we're feeding our gut microbiome. We're feeding those good, those good bacteria. So what our gut microbiome is, is filled with trillions of bacteria, fungi, viruses. All of us have trillions of bacteria. That good bacteria, which we know are probiotics, and the bad bacteria. When we eat foods that are high in fiber, the fiber acts as food for those good probiotics, those good bacteria. And having a good diverse microbiome, so lots of good bacteria, that is, plays a huge role in our overall health. Everything from our immune health to fighting chronic disease mm -hmm. to our mood and to our weight. And something really unique happens though when our probiotics eat that fiber. Right, because so, like, I just want one quick question to follow up. So it, it essentially, if you look at, for the purposes of this discussion, if you eat one gummy bear or a cherry, they may have the same caloric content, they may have the same sugar content in terms of grams, but the cherry or the fruit, yeah. which has a uh, peel and it, it yeah. is completely different than eating a gummy bear. Well, the way, when I was reading about this, I, I like my brain sort of went into cartoon mode. So I you <laughs> saw these little, these little microbes, microbes in my belly, right? And, and so what, and so basically, you know, you're giving them the things that they prefer to eat, mm -hmm. exactly. right? So if, if you have just a hundred calories of something that they don't like, mm. they won't eat it and you will eat a hundred percent of it. If you eat something they do like, as I understand it, yep. then they're going to take maybe 50 calories and eat it, and then you absorb only 50 calories. Yeah, so that's Something a, along those lines. Yeah, it, uh, you're completely on the right track. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that gummy bear, that empty calorie food is going to be absorbed faster. That's why your blood sugar will raise faster. That cherry that has some fiber in it, you're going to absorb some of that right, in your upper part of your GI tract, but then some of it's gonna make its way to your colon. And when it gets to your colon, those probiotics, the good bacteria, are going to feed on the fiber in that cherry. And this is where it gets really mm -hmm. cool. The byproduct or the metabolites are called, or they're called postbiotics, they're called short chain fatty acids. And those short chain fatty acids play so many amazing roles in our health. We're really just learning about it, but some of them related to weight are managing blood sugar control, improving our insulin sensitivity, controlling fat storage, and even controlling our appetite. Mm -hmm. So those short chain fatty acids, we're going to be seeing a lot more research on mm -hmm. it, and it is really, really fascinating. It really, and I'm just saying, like this is a sort of substance. Some people take supplements or other things for to try and control in their body. So, what did you change about have, your diet this morning? So, what, I said I changed it as soon as I read this. I, I, so, I what were you gonna have? I, I, I'm not a big fan of legumes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't like beans. There's I don't lots mean, of other ways to get had, fat than had, legumes. You don't have to we, like we, legumes. We had. Okay. They gave us salads. We eat weird in them when you work this shift, right? So we had salads as an option okay, today, right? And normally I pick around the beans, but I was like, I'm gonna eat these beans because they're high in fiber mm. and this is gonna yeah. slow down the whole sort of processing and, and hopefully these little cartoon characters in my belly will be satisfied and happy, these little uh, bacteria, micro, the microbiome. Um, and so that's what I did. But it got me Very thinking smart. about, you know, we know fruits and vegetables have a lot of fiber, but there, there's fiber in other things. You know, a bed, a potato is a vegetable, but there, there are fiber and other things that we've been taught that we shouldn't eat. Like Like, like potato, mm. potato, like rice. Can we talk about like where there are places that you can find fiber yeah. that, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, 
Absolutely. Yeah. It's not a bad thing at all. And as a matter of fact, you want to get fiber from a variety of places. You don't want to get your fiber just from that same old processed cereal. Mm -hmm. You want to get fiber in its most whole form from a variety of foods. Mm -hmm. So you had beans this morning, maybe tomorrow you want some avocado even that even has some healthy fat, but that even has some fiber in it. So mm -hmm. also nuts and seeds, a variety of whole grains, a variety of fruit mm -hmm. and a variety of vegetables. So you really want to get as much diversity from the fiber foods that you eat because that will help you increase the diversity in your gut. And it's really interesting. Even twin studies show us that lean people have more diversity in their gut microbiome than obese people. Mm. Very, very interesting. So ultimately, and this is a discussion for uh, another day, Carrie, but, but you mentioned something interesting. You know, uh, food companies have gotten very good at marketing to us, right? You'll see that high sugar content cereal, it'll say, 20 grams of fiber, which is X percent of your daily allowance, right. but that fiber right. is not the same as eating a cup no, of beans. No, that's the stuff that they put in during the manufacturing part of the processing. Exactly. Yeah. And, and listen, some of us have to depend on some packaged foods to get some of our nutrients, including fiber. So it, that's not all bad to get it that way, mm. but as many, as many whole foods as possible in your diet is always going to win. And as little processed foods and especially ultra processed foods mm -hmm. is also going to help Ooh, us. Can we have here. you come back to talk about ultra processed foods? That's another rabbit hole I went down. <laughs> we need to have you back. Definitely. Uh, Carrie Glassman, thank you very much. You're so welcome.